Hi, I thought I'd say a few words before uh, tomorrow's discussion begins. Um, in this discussion, what I'm hoping you'll do is grapple with uh, the nature of religion uh, within society prior to the Protestant Re uh, Reformation. Uh, this is a period where religion is integral to life. Um, think of it something like the operating system of, a, of your smartphone, for example. Uh, you could have an Android phone, or you could have, you know, uh, made by um, a number of different manufacturers, or you could have an Apple iPhone. It has a basic operating system and a part of it called the BIOS, the basic input-output system. Think of religion as the basic input-output system of life. People don't think about it as something separate. It is just how you see everything uh, through the eyes of being religious. There are rituals um, that have been developed over, at this point, 1,500 years, um, and a degree of control over people, but um, those who have studied uh, the beliefs of ordinary people understand that there people have ways of rebelling against this sort of control. But it is something, it is part of the air that people believe at this time. So what I want you to do tomorrow is to engage with this by, reading, by looking through this reading. Um, and attempt to understand what it's like to live in a world where you don't think about religion as an oppressive force or as an outside force or as a hobby or something that you do on weekends or something that you can accept or reject. Think of it as something that is integral and try and grapple with that. Because very soon after uh, the period described in this reading, um, a fundamental change occurs. In this course, we do look at two fundamental changes in the relationship between religion and society. And the first one is the arrival of Protestantism, um, which looks at religion in a very different way. But in order to understand the depth of the change, you need to get a sense of what religion was prior to the Reformation. Um, a good way of looking at it is to look at um, a smartphone. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you have an Android. Well, th think of it as a a world where the only smartphones that exist are Apple iPhones, which is the way it was perhaps in 2007 when the iPhone came out. It was the iOS is the operating system, and that's the operating system for everybody. It's what there is. And then at a certain point along comes a rival operating system called Android, and Android is allowed to float free and is used on all by all different manufacturers of phones, whereas um, Apple retains control of its operating system. This is a good um, a metaphor for the difference between the Catholic Church and the coming Protestant Reformation. The period you're looking at with this document, however, is before any other rival operating systems have been invented for, iPhone, for smartphones. Um, so think of it that way. Um, it is very basic to society. Uh, it is how people see life and understand life. But attempt to grapple with this because it's very difficult for us today because religion has become something that is um, a matter of personal individual choice. It's not a matter of individual choice, then it is just there. Um, asking somebody, for example, if you travel back to 1500 and stuck a microphone in somebody's face doing an interview, on the street interview, and ask them, What's your religion? they wouldn't understand your question. Um, that would be like somebody stopping you in the street today and shoving a microphone in your face and saying, what is your physics? The, sen the question doesn't make sense, and it didn't make sense then. It just was. It is the operating system of society in 1500. Okay, um, as usual, if you have any questions, just uh, post them on the Ask Your Instructor page or send me an email. But I want you to get a feel for what happened prior to this fundamental change in society in 1500, in 1517. Okay.